The pup is in her front seat, oxygen going, the oxygen. YOLO ambulance. So she's in route. What's the probability that this dog will actually make it through surgery? Um, I don't know. I think it depends on the extent of the, the rupture. Lana is a four-year-old Great Dane. Uh, she is Nicole's pup and the love of her life. And Lana has been losing weight and just not acting herself. She's been really restless lately. So yesterday I took a look at her and ran some blood work. Uh, she has some elevated kidney enzymes and dilute urine. And we also did an abdominal x-ray, a, a chest x-ray. There's nothing too obvious there, but we wanted to, we're suspicious that maybe there's something more serious going on in her abdomen, or at least want to rule it out. So we have uh, an ultrasonographer coming in today to get some pictures of the abdomen and send that off to a radiologist. So we can just make sure we're ruling everything out. I'll be working here for the rest of my life to pay for my lemons. Two breeds in the world that pet owners should not purchase, what would they be? A Great Dane and a Lime Runner. Yes, that is the correct answer. <laughs> and those are both breeds that I purchased. <laughs> yeah, there's just so many avenues, so hopefully when we get the results back from the ultrasound, we'll be able to know for sure and come up with a game plan. really cute and she'll be bringing a uh, dog back to get a crate for puppies so we'll be able to count puppies. So skull there and a skull there and a skull there and a spine there and a spine there. I think it's four for sure but there's just this little shadow here that's suspicious. I think that looks exactly like a human face. Look at this. Yeah, it looks like an alien. I don't right? Like I don't like it at Look all. Look how creepy that is. That looks more like a baby than my Your baby. Your baby, I know. <laughs> Your nose picker. <laughs> Some breeders want to know how many pups are in there because when she is whelping, you, we want to know when they're done, right? Just like in humans, there's no like definitive gestation period. Each breed and each individual has their own variability in terms of the total gestation length. At about that 45 day mark is when we can potentially take the first x-ray, but it's not guaranteed that the bones are ossified and we can actually see. We were given this dog maybe four or five days um, to bake, to, to have gestation, and we would be able to see the pups a little more clear. So we'll give the owner the option, uh, but there's four for sure, maybe five based off of what we can see. So if they want to know definitively, then we'll retake x-rays next week. So she was kind of dropped at the vet uh, in Saskatchewan. Uh, she'd been run over uh, sometime on the weekend. And so the vet there wanted to actually put her down and asked if we would take her. And I said, of course, we want to give her a chance, right? So we took her into Fish Creek right away. They did x-rays um, and they see that it's diaphragmic hernia, which is tough, right? So all of her stomach and organs and stuff were pushed into her lungs. So she needed an immediate surgery, and so Dr. Yolanda's like, let's do it, right, let's try it. And so the contents of her abdomen, so um, possibly her stomach, her intestines, anything that can travel up, it traveled up into the chest, um, obviously puts strain on both her lungs and her heart. And so today we'll be going in and repairing that uh, via surgery. It's a life-saving procedure. She can't live with her liver inside her chest. So what we're going to be doing is opening the abdomen, pulling whatever organs that are not supposed to be in the chest, take them out of the chest, and that tear in that, you know, wall, the diaphragm, uh, we're gonna just suture it up. I don't, I don't know how I, like what's gonna happen, because I've never done one, this is my first one. So I'm really humbled that Christina trusts me with this and that Cody was on board and that everybody, like there's a lot of people I was counting. There's at least 10 people um, that I have spoken about this dog since last night. So it's been a lot of brain power. Probably, you know, a surgeon sees these and then like, it's like routine for them. It's like a spay for them, right? But for us, 
it's not something that we get to do all the time, so it's exciting. And hopefully we're gonna save her life and change her life for good. So that's what, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited for that. Because I've known Shoni for, Shoni for like five years. So, and she's seen me doing surgery and she's worked with a top-notch surgeon. So I was like, do I have the skills to do this? And she's like, yeah, you have them. Okay, so then we'll just, we'll try. We'll try. Okay, I'm gonna go in. Okay. No big deal. You got this. You're in the chest. Yes, I am. <laughs> There's a lot of bruising there already. I can see it. Okay, you can definitely see the liver. We're gonna extend our incision. And yes. we're gonna pull that okay. Perfect. liver out of the chest. So cool. like that, or is it that does, I'll get you to feel that in a okay. second. I can see it. Whoa, okay. Do you see nice. that beating heart? Porter. Sweet. Instead of your extend your incision down. Like cranially? We have an issue. Over there? What's happening? You're regurgitating? Coding. Coding. Go, 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 go. Just do your thing. Can I have a tech or a doctor in here? We don't have I don't see any hemorrhage in the chest. Okay, her heart's still strong. She's blue. Like she's that's okay. I'm just gonna try to get the, the liver. I got the liver out of the chest. I see the huge opening. She also has the stomach in the chest. It's out. And the defect is huge. The left lung is super bruised. Okay, we have her back. Okay. So we went in there, she coated on us. That was very scary. So that means she died? Yeah, she died. And then we kept sewing her up until she came back to life. And then, thank God, we were sewing her up. I'm just going to be closing her up while you guys figure it out. I can see heart looks pretty strong. Okay. Is she still blue? We're getting there. We just have to have really high pressures here. So she looks bigger down here. That, yeah. That lung it was no blood. She was at 92 for a minute. And now she's back down to 78. Okay. So what is the probability, like, uh, or the, 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 the period of, like, where they might die post? 24 hours. Okay. But two hours. Two I was hours, reading. The yeah. two hours is where most of them die. Okay. You'll mm -hmm. catch it quickly. Okay. Two. So we're going to try to close her up, but I don't see anything. I mean, she's doing well anesthesia-wise, and um, now we can see what we're doing. But as soon as we took the liver out of the chest, it wasn't good. And the stomach. I don't know if she also had a vagal reflex oh. there. I mean, she was dead and now that's she's good. not. So that, that's, that's, good. that's a good thing. That's scary. Yeah. <laughs> so we're placing some surgical mesh over the diaphragm because there's so much damage to the muscle that um, we can't really sew it so back sure together properly. Kind of um, so this will just um, help it hold together until kind of it can fully heal. It looks so much better. I'm gonna look a lot happier right now with this mesh. Oh, perfect. I am pretty happy with my closure. Yeah, like it seems like it's squirting out of that like little butthole looking thing. And it's gonna be, <laughs> it does exactly it like a like butthole. It does look a little butthole, but Shawnee. it's okay. No one's gonna see I, that. Oh yeah, we have to tap her, sorry. Uh, We're almost uh, done. Yes, I'm just gonna tap her chest. There's uh, air in the chest cavity that shouldn't be there. And she can't expand her lungs because of it. So that's why we have to do this after the surgery. You think you're good? I think we're good, okay. honestly. Perfect. I'm happy with that. We did have a decent amount of air in the chest there. The fact that we have a live dog at the end of surgery is really promising. How do I feel? Uh, yeah, I feel good. Still a bit stressed out. Um, I'm happy. I'm very proud of everybody. Everybody did a great job, and now I'm hungry. Where's she gonna go tonight? Fish Creek. So Fish Creek will take care of her yeah. overnight. So uh, this was, uh, we were talking about this in the OR. We were just saying how many people actually came together to help her out. So it was very nice, very humbling, very 
very awesome and, and I'm very grateful that um, I have the opportunity to do a surgery that otherwise there's no way I would have done if I hadn't had the support of, you know, Fenvet and Cody and Shawnee and like the surgeons that uh, gave me their advice on how to fix this and that they thought that we could do it. Uh, so, yet, you know, that it wasn't a crazy thing to do here. So we did it. This is Shawnee's baby. He's very cute. And we named the puppy after him. So, uh, so Levi, here, he likes you. She has a, a broken leg that will be fixed once she's overcome this part. Stacy just reminded me that I have to spay this dog later on. You have to spay it, yeah. And then fix that too. And there's also two incisors to remove. Okay, yeah, so this poor dog, in a very short time, it's gonna have at least three surgeries. Thank you for being such a wonderful surgeon oh. and for giving FenVet the opportunity to help this dog. Yes. Ooh.